Welcome, Bad News Nation. Bad News Harris is here, and not in my office. My office is that way. Maybe that way, depending on which direction this camera's angling. Since I'm facing it, it's that way. Not the point. Point is, is I'm here in my living room because this is where the PlayStation's at. PlayStation belongs to my wife, to be honest. Um, but I play her play, uh, PlayStation to go live on my Master Duel, and I'm here to do a deck profile of my Thunder Dragons for anyone interested. Which I wouldn't imagine as many, but not the point. The point is, I'm here to do it. So let's get started, shall we? Now that we're here, as you can see, my main deck is 42 cards. Mostly because I added in the cold by the or the the is that cold by the grave? Pretty sure that yeah. Uh, not the point. Point is, is I put those in there when I got a couple of them, so it increased my deck count to forty two instead of forty. Uh, so let's get started. We'll start off with the base of the deck since it is Thunder Dragon, triple Thunder Dragons, of course. Uh, I'm not sure how many other Thunder Dragon players there are out there still, but I'm not, or, but personally, I love the strategy of just pitching one at a time, mostly to bait out either a Maxi or an Ash Blossom. Mostly Maxi, because whenever I pitch one for a Maxi, I just stop. Uh, makes, makes things a lot more fun on my part. Uh, triple Thunder Dragon Matrix, because with all the hand um, effects that we have, it doesn't even matter if it's Max Seed or even Ash Blossom, because we drop it like a normal summon, and Colossus comes out! Um, triple Max Seed, because it's Master Duel, so who doesn't run Max Seed? Um, I'd be okay without it. I mean, I love my, I love my deck in person, too, and we can't use uh, Max Seed in America, so... Triple Ash Blossom, for the obvious reasons, because Ash Blossom is a primary main deck source. Uh, I love using it against my, or against mirror matches. Love having it used against me because it challenges me. Let's see, Thunder Dragon Dark, I love because I love having a Thunder Dragon I can pitch on either turn. And I love the fact that it searches everything because I love the strategy of going Thunder Dragon Hawk for Thunder Dragon Dark and then sacking off Thunder Dragon Dark for a Colossus. Or getting rid of Thunder Dragon Roar using it to summon Thunder Dragon Dark, and then getting rid of Thunder Dragon Dark for any reason to search for either a Thunder Dragon or a Thunder Dragon Fusion. Or sometimes even... Oh, wait, do I... I took it out of this one. Okay. Uh, Thunder Dragon Duo also, but I guess I took out Thunder Dragon Duo when I added in my second Nibiru. Never realized how much fun Nibiru was until I started playing it on Master Duel. I own the uh, Nibiru's in person, but I don't play in person enough to get that experience, so it helps me enjoy it. I only run Run Raigeki instead of two, because I already run two Lightning Storms, which is funny. It just got Lightning Storm just got limited on the Forbidden Limited list for May of 2023. Well, technically of June of 2023. Um, Monster Reborn. Main, I will be honest with you. I Monster Reborn Ash Blossom more often than most people would like to admit, but it's so I can sync it with Thunder Dragon Dark. And then I get my Dragon Dark search, and then I get a level 8 Synchro. More often than not, it's going to be Stardust Dragon. But for those decks that love to just go Omni Negates or big-ass monsters at the end of their uh, combos, I have Colossal Fighter. Gold Sarcophagus is my favorite... Yeah, my favorite spell card in this deck, because... Gold Sarcophagus, into Thunder Dragon Roar, into Thunder Dragon Dark, then I just sack it off again. Colossus. I get it. I get why Colossus is gone. I'm just, I'm sad. I never got to play with Colossus in person. That's why I take advantage of it here. Allure Darkness. I have six darks right there, and it's almost never a dead draw. Hell, it used to never be a dead draw in general when I had this deck built with three uh, Summoner Monks and three False Adinas, because I love anti metaing my own meta decks. I don't run meta decks anymore. You get what I mean. I can draw, I can get rid of Dragon Roar, 
to get into Dragon Dark, or I can just get rid of Dragon Dark and search for any of my other Thunder Dragons. I only use two fusions because I can. Uh, without Thunder or without Summoner Monk, there's no reason to have the third. I don't pitch it as often. Well, I don't pitch it at all, but you get my point. Uh, we've already gone through Lightning Storm. It's down to two, but I use it mostly for back row over, over front row. Ready Fusion, I have so I can activate it. Summon Kaminari Attack because it's the only non effect level six fusion of, or Thunder type, apparently. Well, I think there's a Gem Knight, but not worth Not my point. Uh, Pegran, Summon Kaminari Attack. Then I've got myself a Thunder Dragon or Titan. I understand why a lot of people don't use that combo, but come on, it's an immediate Titan. That was the first thing that I thought of when I saw, um, saw that there was an ar or a Thunder Dragon archetype. Was I was like, Instant Fusion, Kaminari Attack, Titan! But now on Master Duel, Instant Fusion's gone, so I'm down to two Ready Fusions. By the way, I saw the Ready Fusions down to like 5 to 10 bucks a piece, and my local finish stock has it for 30 No thank you. Double MST because I'm a Yugi Boomer and. MST comes in more handy than you think. Called by the Grave for hand traps. And Solemn Judgment for when I go Colossus, Titan, and then I drop that so they can't do shit to me. Doesn't always work, but it works about 70% of the time. Common Tech, already told you, combines it with Ready Fusion and goes into Colossus or Titan. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon because there are those times when I can summon all three Thunder Dragon fusions in the same turn. And I do it. I have a lot of TikToks that show that. Colossus because I've never played with Colossus before in prison. So I abuse it like nobody's business on Master Duel. Triple Dragon Titan because two of them is not enough. You are just in case I randomly decided to sink an Ash Blossom with my Thunder Dragon Matrix, and then I've got an Armory Arm. Hyper Librarian, just in case I sink uh, Ash Blossom with Max C, so I can draw any time a Synchro Monster Summon. Uh, Colossal Fighter and Stardust Dragon, so I can sink with either Thunder Dragon Dark or Thunder Dragon. Easy. It's basically XYZ Summoning without XYZ Summoning. Uh, also, Red Dragon Archfiend. I forgot I had it on here, but that's... There are too many monsters that I've come across that just don't die in battle while they're in defense, and that's my solution. Force Focus. I have level 6s. I've come across too many things that I can't negate that stay too big because of their effects. So I figured, screw it. Just negate things. Uh, land something or other, because I'm not about to try and pronounce that. I don't speak that language. Makes me sound really ignorant. Not the point. Point is, easy pitches to the grave, just like with the Veritite Anaconda. Anaconda, I rarely use. That's like a... That's a 1 out of 10 situation for me right there. Um, either way, though. Uh, it does come in handy, because if I can't use a... Thunder Dragon Fusion, I can use it for Ready Fusion, and then still get my combos out. So, yeah, that will be my Thunder. That's my Thunder Dragon deck on PlayStation Master Duel. Uh, I will do another deck profile of my um, deck on the Switch because it's slightly built different. It does have my Fossil Diamonds and stuff still in it. So, yeah, uh, tell me what you think. Give me some pointers. Uh, there's a reason I don't use Aloof Alpine. I have that in my physical deck, but just not in here. Um, but again, pointers, I'm welcome to it. Uh, challenges, I'm up to them. I love playing my viewers. I love playing my subs. Just shoot me a line. Um, uh, if I, if slash when I finally build another deck, I am currently working on tier elements as we speak. Um, I'll do a deck profile of that after I'm more comfortable with the, how it's built and the gameplay with it. But either way, for now, Thunder Dragons, PlayStation 4. Thank you for joining me. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. Everything in the bottom corner tells you to do. And I will see you guys in the next video.
Bad News Harris out. 